The story of Seiko began in 1881 when a 21-year-old entrepreneur, Kintaro Hattori, opened a shop selling and repairing watches and clocks in central Tokyo. Today, after more than 130 years of innovation, Kintaro Hattori's company is still dedicated to the perfection that the founder always strove to achieve. Let's explore Seiko's long history and see many of its landmark achievements. Throughout the 1890s, the success of Seikosha's wall clock business increased and Kintaro looked to broaden the range of his business. In 1892, Kintaro Hattori bought a disused factory in Tokyo. In 1895, he created a pocket watch, the Timekeeper. It was a vital step forward, without which the future of Seiko would have been very different as it paved the way for Japan's first ever wristwatch. In the beginning, pocket watches were still very popular and there were only a few wristwatches imported to Japan. Kintaro, however, was determined to be one step ahead and embarked on the task of creating Japan's first ever wristwatch. In 1913 he succeeded and the Laurel was produced. In the early days the company was able to produce only 30 to 50 watches a day. As its railway network expanded, Japan National Railways appointed Seiko as its official supplier. Train drivers often made wooden cutouts on their consoles where the approved pocket watch would sit in line of sight as they drove their trains. After the Second World War, Seiko continued its rise. In 1958, Seiko introduced the Diashock. It is a shock-resistant device. When a watch is a subject to shock, as when it is dropped on a hard floor, the component most likely to be damaged is the balance staff pivot. This part is extremely thin, about the same as a human hair. High in the mountains in Nagano Prefecture in central Japan, a small team of Seiko's most experienced and skilled watchmakers were entrusted with the task of making the very best watch of which they were capable. Grand Seiko was to represent the pinnacle of Seiko's excellence in mechanical watchmaking and to deliver more accuracy, legibility and durability than any other watch. The Seiko Quartz Astron was introduced in Tokyo on December 25, 1969. It delivered unmatched performance. It was accurate to within 5 seconds per month, 100 times more accurate than any other watch and it ran continuously for a year or 250 times longer than most mechanical watches. The Quartz revolution had begun. Just two years later, Seiko introduced the world's first multifunction digital watch with a chronograph. It could record time to one tenth of a second and had a lap time function. It also incorporated an internal light so that it could be seen clearly in the dark. Next year, Seiko introduced the world's first watch equipped with a voice recording function. The sound for maximum 8 seconds can be recorded and played as a voice memo. It also plays voice alert at the setting time. After introducing the world's first TV watch, Seiko introduced a wrist computer that stored data. It was the first of its kind, it had memory of up to 2000 characters and could store telephone numbers and addresses as well as a diary or schedule for up to one month. Seiko's mastery of electronic watchmaking and long experience in diving watches allowed the creation of the Scuba Master that was equipped with a water sensor and depth sensor and that displayed diving time and depth, vital information for divers. At 
at last the search for totally precise time everywhere on the planet is over. By developing its own patented low energy consumption GPS receiver, Seiko has been able to create a watch that can receive GPS signals and identify time zone, time and day data using the global network of GPS satellites. Grand Seiko has always been distinct in its design, character, presentation and, more recently, its calibers. In order to further reinforce its unique appeal and to reach out to a wider audience, it was decided to take one step further and presenting Grand Seiko as an entirely separate brand.